Welcome back to AJ Kitchen Paper. Today we are looking at tofu steak. This is definitely one tofu recipe where you won't be missing the meat. Now that Oats has inspected the firmness of our tofu, let's dive in. Start off by preparing your firm tofu block by chopping that boy in half. This is an extremely difficult part of the process but we will get through this. And just pop them to the side because it's time to make our sauce. So grab a clove of garlic and let's pop them to the side and ignore it for a while like the sad middle child it is. And we're going to add one tablespoon of soy sauce, one tablespoon of mirin, a little splashity splash of sake, half a tablespoon of mensir, a, a tablespoon of sugar and a teaspoon of sesame oil. And then finally turn your attention to your garlic cloves. Alrighty, mixity mix. Now let's move over to the flame. Two pads of butter in there and then just melt those boys away. And then chuck in your tofu steaks. And look at those golden soy boys. Love it. You'll notice how oats here is swirling the pan so gracefully as to not break up your tofu. Add in your sauce and continue to swirl. Maybe a flippity flip here and there and you're done. Time to plate it up. Make sure you leave your boards nice and stacked. And then maybe after reducing that sauce even further, you're going to dollop it on top. Beautiful. And then for good measure, we're going to add over a nice cracker pepper. Now then, once you've got way too much pepper on there, add a little bit of shichimi for spice. And because this is kind of looking a little bit brown, let's just add on some spring onions for good measure. I knew all that butter would come back to Horner, so let's just clean up those edges. Mmm, what a nice shot. Tonight we are drinking Gentle Breeze and Lemon Flavoured Highball. I also had a sip, and it just kind of tastes like a lemon highball, but let's not get into it too much. Alright, let's chop ourselves up a slice and get stuck in. So the sauce we made today was actually made for Japanese barbecue, the yakiniku. And my god, does it do wonders for tofu! <laughs> if you're in the mood for something really quick and easy, this is your new go-to dish. This will really fill you up, I'm not even joking. We were actually going to film something else after this, but then gave up because we were too full. Even if you don't use it on tofu, just try this sauce. Amazing. Alright, till next time.